first won the hearts of Aussie audiences in the castle. It's the culture, Daryl. Received industry praise as one of the country's most infamous criminals. Why would I shoot a bloke, bang, and then put him in the bloody car and whiz him off to the hospital at 100 miles an hour? And as Hollywood came calling, he stole the spotlight in some of the industry's biggest blockbusters. No son of Troy will ever submit to a foreign ruler. More than a decade later, Eric Banner is back on home soil in the dry. So you've heard some stories about me. I've heard some. Based on the best-selling book of the same name, the movie has Banner reuniting with Romulus My Father director Robert Connolly. The film follows Banner as federal agent Aaron Falk, who returns to his drought-stricken hometown for a funeral and confronts a deadly secret from his past. I adored this film. I was a huge fan of the book. How did you become involved in this? I believe your wife gave you a copy of The Dry? That's true, yes. My wife, Rebecca, is a voracious reader who, um, as usual, read the book before I did and uh, nudged me one night and said, you better read this book. I'm pretty sure they'll turn it into a film. Um, at that stage, the, the book had already been optioned. I didn't even realise, but um, I read the book and absolutely loved it. And then sometime later, about a year later, I was, I was in the office with Rob and he told me that he'd spoken to Bruna Papandrea, the producer who had the rights to the novel, and he was going to direct it. So um, I said, I think you and I should sit down and have a cup of coffee. <laughs> and uh, I said to him, well, I think, I think you need to consider me as Aaron Fork, and that's kind of <laughs> how it began. I kind of love working with Eric. I mean, he prioritises the work at hand. The experience of directing him on set is a delight. He's rigorous. Uh, he's kind of the most hard-working, detailed actor. Um, but, but he keeps a kind of sense of fun and a playful, a playful adventure. I mean, it's so hard. Making a film is such an industrial process. You know, my journey is as a filmmaker is how do you make it feel like you're splashing paint on a canvas in an industrial model and and every day it was Eric and I being able to explore this explore this material and why was it important for you to produce as well as star in it oh I guess I felt um a sense of I don't know I guess being protective I, I love the book and I guess from a practical standpoint I was able to exploit something that I'm not normally able to which is a physical proximity to the production. Normally I'm working overseas, pre-production and post-production is something that happens on the other side of the world whilst I'm here in Melbourne. Um, in this case, it was coming out of our, we were sort of the physical, Australian physical base here in Melbourne um, and Rob and I collaborate. So it was a natural fit and something that I thoroughly enjoyed being involved in right from the beginning all the way to the very end. What was important for you to take from the book and then bring it to life? There's a sense of mystery to Aaron Fork in the book and, and the, one of the things that was really important to us was to, was to not only be faithful to the book but wherever possible to try and expand um, and use those cinematic tools, you know, to our advantage. So I guess the, the, the story constantly cutting from the past to the present meant that as an actor I, I had a, an extra tool that, that the audience was bringing with it at all, at all times, things that were occurring in the past. So it was a case of, you know, calibrating that. Um, it meant that, I, that less was more in some respects because the audience were, were constantly being fed information from young Joe Klocek who was playing the young Aaron Fork um, in other parts of the film. The cast is incredible. Uh, young Joe does, a, does an amazing amazing job and um yeah w w w yeah I, I was just so blessed to to act uh, uh, across so many different amazing actors Genevieve O'Reilly who plays Gretchen who was is just phenomenal in this film it's been more than a decade now since you were the lead in a local film how was it being back on an Aussie film set yeah it doesn't feel that different to be honest um I'm just used to being on location um, and in this case, we were on location again, um, which I enjoy. I enjoy the lack of distraction that comes from just being away. Um, I have no idea what it feels like to wake up in my own bed and go to work at something foreign. I did enjoy the fact that it didn't involve a 20-hour flight. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, I also enjoyed the fact that I didn't have to worry about an accent, which is the case for 95% of the work that us Australian actors do overseas. I've been told in the past, I think it was Shane Jacobson that said, it's always great to film in the outback because people are so welcoming, whereas if you're in the city, they get annoyed at shutting down roads and streets. Were you welcomed by the locals? Yeah, they were incredible. We, we filmed in, in, in the Mallory, in the Mallee, Wimmera, uh, Western District of Victoria, 
and they were so welcoming and I think was probably aided by the fact that whilst we based ourselves in Warwick Nabil, we filmed in three or four towns in, in the region. So we weren't sort of taking over one town completely, but they were super supportive. We engaged them as much as we could. Some of them got work on the film. Some of them were extras. Um, they were nothing but absolutely fantastic and never made us feel like we were getting in the way. But I agree with what Shane's saying about when you're on location in a big city, there, you know, there are some cities where they've just almost had enough of film crews. So that definitely wasn't the case here. I think this film lands on at such an important time and on such a great day as well to start the new year. What do you hope people take from this movie? I hope they feel really proud and confident they go and see a big cinematic experience that happens to be an Australian film. You know, um, we were really, R Rob and I, the director, were, it was always our intention to make this a really big piece of cinema, not an insular little Australian story, to, to, to make this something that's worth of people going and seeing on the big screen. We've shot this film on large format cameras for the first time on an Australian production. It's very cinematic. It, it has a lot of emotion. It encapsulates uh, regional towns in a way that we've never seen before. We, we're used to seeing kind of outback depictions of Australia for foreigners. This is, this is an Australia that Australians will, will really recognise and understand. The Dry opens in cinemas on New Year's Day. Samantha Dawson, Sky News.